Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato, and welcome back to Let's Play The Da Vinci Code. We're still at the Normandy Mansion, and we're now in the Labyrinth. Dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic. Yeah, rest in peace, Bowie. I saw a police officer go this way, so I think we're gonna... Going to, uh, find him. This should be useful. Going to find him. Beat the shit out. You know, just like just this. Yeah. Up. 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 Attack. I am an agent of the judicial police. So is he, dude. No. Ma'am. Whatever. I never get the, the double buttons are hard to do. Oh, yay, kill him! I'll knock him out, right? Come on. Come on, Biggin, let's get you somewhere safe. Oh, you seem like a uh, fighting man. Statues out facing Venus like the smaller ones well. You know, fighting man, let's leave you by the statue of Mars. Yay! On gameplay. There, that should make Venus happy. Huzzah! Yeah, see if we can find another stick or something and uh, continue with taking out these guards. I can and will defend myself. Fuck. <sighs> This in the morning. I mean, it's an interesting combat system, but it's definitely not the best. I think it would be best if you would let me go. Out cold. I should move him out of sight. Why don't you use the ever, the always succeeds plan of just kick him in the dick? Just, just kick him in the balls. He'll be down. I don't, I don't think SWAT team. Well, his freaking Kevlar vest and flak jacket can't protect him from your freaking elbows. So I'm just gonna kind of assume that kicking that he's not ha doesn't have any protective gear. He doesn't have a cup or anything. Trust me, kick him in the balls. He's done. He is out cold. <laughs> Vulcan! We're not really touching the statue, but... Guess we have magic powers now? Da 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 da
Looks useful. Yeah, I know it's a trowel. I think I need need Jupiter and and a <coughs> and in and what's his face? Well, here we got Jupiter. of the uh, Sea King level from uh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. And how much of a better game that one is. Oh, we got them all. Sweet. Whoa! And I'm sure all the policemen that patrolling the grounds now won't have just the seen Gondor. that. You just blew your cover. Hell, if I were patrolling this area and I saw a big thing just rise out of the ground, I'd be converging on that. Yay! Solved a puzzle. I cannot believe I am here again. I swore I would never come back after... after what I saw Grandfather doing down here. You really can't act. It was like a cult ceremony. How can I forgive him for being involved in something like that? Well, you could let us know no, what you're talking about. I do not have time for remorse. I need to follow his dying clues. There is something I have to see or get here. Though I better find some light if I want to see anything at all. Okay, light. Ooh, it's it's a uh... nothing to actually examine. Okay. Freaking Horus bird. I think it's a falcon. Supposed to be a falcon. I can't remember. I'm not exactly up to date on my Egyptian mythology. I got my inventory. Just the Priory Ring. Stick. Ah! Ah, I can see. Now I can light one of those torches. Good. Finally. And see how they're making a in the floor. 
Perfect. Oh, it's a puzzle lift. It's a Timing puzzle? Oh, not a hate timing puzzle. That part worked. Seems to be working. Ha, it worked. Now for the next part. Ah, I'm on the right track. Okay. That worked. Ha, that did it. Did it? Did what? Nothing. Why'd you lie to me? That seems to have done the trick. Well done. Put that out, so I guess that's not the answer. Good. So far, so good. I knew it would work. All right, that worked. Look, game, could you give me some kind of information on what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here? That part worked. Okay, good, good, good. Come on. Ugh. Yes. Ha, that did it. That worked. Okay, game. Some kind of information. Please, some kind of hint. That seems to have done the trick. Not really. At all. Jesus fucking Christ, what do seems I do? to be working. I knew it would work. Now they'll put you one better than me. Well done. Oh, for fuck's sake, what do I do? All right, that worked. Perfect. <sighs> this is fucking stupid. Or I'm fucking stupid. Someone's stupid. What do I do? Good. Okay.
so far, so good. Except I put out two other fucking torches. What do I do? Ha, it's worked. Now for the next belt. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Ha, that did it. I mean, a puzzle's all very well if it gives you any fucking clues. Yes. Clearly not, because fire keeps going out! My god, this is awful! <laughs> Seriously, this is awful! And let me guess, Done. I light this one and the whole thing goes to shit. Yep, whole thing goes to shit. Fuck this game. That seems to have done the trick. <laughs> yeah, remember our last video I said, hey, I'm, I'm starting to kind of like this game. Yeah, nope, nope, Fine. nope, nope. This game's awful. <laughs> this game is completely awful. Completely awful. Nice. The Seems fact that it doesn't good. actually record any clues for you. Ha, it worked. Now for the next belt. Doesn't let you keep Ooh. notes in your inventory. So fast. Oh, the puzzle. Yeah, what's the puzzle? I know what I'm supposed to do, but I have no clue how to do it. I know it's supposed to happen, but I don't know why the fires keep going out. This is that stupid. I will not stop complaining about this. This is fucking stupid. This is one of the worst puzzles I've ever seen in a fucking right. game. That worked. That worked. That puts out that, but like yes. that. What does... Ha, that oh! Did it. Finally. Trial and error, ladies and gentlemen. Trial and fucking error. That puzzle was stupid. Ha, I'm on the right. Puzzle bored me, too. I love how all these puzzles could have been avoided if we just had a big smashy thing. It's the Princess Sophie key my grandpa promised me, and an address is engraved on the side. I don't need a symbologist to understand this, but grandpa wanted me to work with Robert. Secret I'll show stairs. This to him. Be the way out. This room with the whole burning okay. pentacle thing on the ground. I wish I just, why you did could you things. have, you know, a uh, boss fight with some I'm kind so of demon sorry. in a better game like Hexen or something? 
I missed a secret. Guess what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not here to. I'm not here as a completionist. I'm just here to beat the game and give you and give you guys the story of the game. But dogs are my friends. All the yeah, they are my friends. Yay! Good doggies. The nun? Too late. You find anything? The fleur de lis. What does it mean? It could mean your grandfather was more important than you know. Look at the writing. Then, Contre Haxo. Swiss bank. What does it mean? It's an address. It's where we're heading now. So we are not going to sneak around a Swiss bank, are we? Now. Allied master computer. Who's their decorator? Allied steel? Try not to draw too much attention to us. Fash may have put our names all over the Interpol system by now. Bonsoir. How may I help you? Uh, excuse me, but this Oz. Okay. Of course. Oz. To get to your we're, view, we're in the land of you Oz. must go through the left doorway left. in the atrium. Left. Your key will give you access. Need a drink badly. Yep. I think he is. Because he likes difficult puzzles. Extremely difficult it puzzles. Seems too easy. Are you sense. trying to jinx us? I don't, but unfortunately the player character the character does. Stuff to find, anything to find. Incredible. Plus the great powerful. Whoa. You really need to see that's how it works. A password? Grandfather didn't leave us a password. Are you certain? Well, I stopped opening the mail he would send me after the incident. I don't think he'd send something that sensitive through the mail. Although, maybe he did five give us a password. Feet. Look at the symbol on the crate. Oh, five.
It looks like the Greek letter Phi. The 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. But Phi is also a Greek numeral representing 500. We're still missing something. We need a four-digit number. Doesn't Phi also represent the Same golden here. ratio? The golden ratio? It is a mathematical thing, but the most important part is that the Fibonacci sequence conforms to the golden ratio. You've lost me. Gobert used the Fibonacci sequence as the number for a safe where he kept his key. I think he used that there so I would remember it now. So you're saying the Fibonacci sequence relates to Phi being the 21st letter of the alphabet and the numeral 500? Yes. So if 21, 500, Look, and 521. Look, I can't the remember the fucking Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence. sequence. The next number would be four digits, which is exactly what we need for this password. This all comes back to Phi, the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet, and the numeral 500 and how it relates to the Fibonacci sequence. If 21 were the first number in a Fibonacci sequence, and 500 the second, then the next number would be 521. So, if 21, 500, and 521 were the first three numbers of a Fibonacci sequence, the next number would be four digits, which is exactly what we need for this password. Okay, I'm getting up my uh, notepad now. This all comes back to Phi, the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet, and the numeral 500 and how it relates to the Fibonacci sequence. If 21 were the first number in a Fibonacci sequence, and 500 the second, then the next number would be 521. So, if 21, 500, and 521 were the first three numbers of a Fibonacci sequence, the Maybe. next number would be four digits, which is exactly what we need for this password. A note from Grandpère. My dearest Sophie, you are reading this and I therefore have passed away. I do I hope, hope that we made that up. We made but up. If not, but do not if not, do not waste time grieving. You have much work to do, and time will be running out. You were always, always the light I followed. Now you, you must, must be, be strong, strong and, fearless. and fearless. I know you will not let me down. Do not forget what lies beneath the rose must remain your secret. Mon amour, compère. What's in the box? Come on, just open the damn thing. Ooh, the, ah, uh, yes. The cipher. No, this is a cliptex. Grandfather probably made this. It's based off a design from Da Vinci's Secret Codex. How do you open it? Well, this one has five dials and each one has 26 possible letters. The possible permutations may as well be infinite, but more importantly, there's a vinegar glass vial at the center. If you try to force it open, that will crack and dissolve the papyrus message inside. So, you okay. either know the answer or you don't. You've seen this before, I take it. Grandfather used to make these for me. I had to solve them to find my birthday presents. Okay, anything we can do with the UV light. Perhaps I should try something else. I must be missing something. What an ornate box. It's made of rosewood. My grandfather's favorite. You think grandfather already left us a clue? In his note, 
He mentioned that what lies beneath the rose must remain our secret, Sabrosa. The Romans hung a rose over meetings to indicate the meeting was confidential. Attendees understood that whatever was said under the rose or Sabrosa had to remain a secret. Now, I noticed a small hole in the center of the rose in the box lid. The inner lid, it's probably false. If we can find something small enough to push through the hole, we might find a clue to opening the clip decks. Oh. Mm, I must be missing something. Oh, shame. Well, let's look around, I guess. That is not uh, going to paper work. Paper clip? Never really would work. Be working. Um. Ah, there's something written on the inside of the lid. I'm ah, sorry, just writing this down. Not yet the cup when Jesus broke the bread, nor yet the vessel into which he bled, but more than this a seeker most divine, whose hiding place has stood the test of time. Meaning... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I think that's a reference to the Holy Grail. Because I've seen the movie. Okay, could you stop fucking vibrating? Maybe. I'll go, maybe I'll go over here and do it. Should we go? Uh, won't stop vibrating, okay. Grail. I am André Vernet, president Balls. of the Bank of Zurich. We don't have much time, so I'll be brief. My friend Desgard informs me that he has alerted Interpol of your presence. The French police are arriving as we speak. Fash is even more determined than I thought. I don't want any authorities to set foot in my bank, nor do my customers. We have enough controversy here over the rights of my clients as it is. I will guide you out of the bank using these earpieces. You will need this security card and truck key. Avoid the bank security. If you get caught, I cannot help you. I will be going to the bank surveillance center to help you out. However, 
At any time, the authorities may request my attention. Indeed. During that time, you will be on your own. Stay in this room until New objective. Go I to get the elevator, the meet Renee center. in the loading docks. I will tell you when it's clear. I guess we better get ready to leave. But we'll do all this next video. Because, well, I think it's about time. So, this has been Let's Play the Da Vinci Code. I've been Mark D'Amato. See you next time. Ciao. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Marek D'Amato. The art was by Rafaela Agrona, and you can find a link to her commission page in the description below. See you next time.